Hi, welcome to Food Art with Sprig Barton. It's gonna be an aubergine penguin. The famous aubergine penguin. Eggplant penguin. I think aubergine's the boy. Eggplant's the girl. It's gonna be the penguin. Basically, my friend dared me to make this because it is so stupid. So here it is, the silly eggplant or aubergine penguin. And you may never want to make something like this in your life. It's not really worth doing, but go ahead and watch this video because I took the time and made it and that makes it lovely, doesn't it? Hey, so get your aubergine or eggplant and cut off your penguin's stomach because it's going to show up white, isn't it? Ah, and there's one of the flippers or wings. Oh, yes. It's great, isn't it? Oh, yes. Mmm. Makes you want to go to Antarctica or maybe even Argentina or Australia. Eh, Africa. South Africa, that would be, wouldn't it? They're in the southern hemisphere. Ah, oh, well, yeah, ah. Oh. Well, also, this eggplant is a bit old, so <laughs> it's a bit difficult to carve. Isn't this silly? Oh, well, look at this. Oh, it doesn't stand up. Mmm. I know, make it a flat surface so it can stand up. Oh, what a good idea. Oh, flipper, flipper, flap, flap. I guess they're flippers. Now we're making the penguin feet. You can make them either with the dark side up or the light side up, whichever way your penguin wants to be dressed today. Oh, make it out of the bit that you cut out of the penguin's belly. That's what I'm using. Amazing, isn't it? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> and it is quite relaxing to make these kind of things. So if you're a bit strung out or anything, just go ahead and get you an eggplant or an aubergine and make a penguin. Yeah, go on, you know you want to. <laughs> yeah, all right. Looking great. Yeah. Don't know why I'm cutting that bit, but it looks great, doesn't it? Oh, and it does look like it has the end. Oh, look, I got some white paper and drew circles on it to make penguin eyes. You can make them any shape you want or any color. And I'm sticking them on the eggplant with peanut butter. Homemade peanut butter. Watch my how to make peanut butter video if you want. That's really a goodie. It said giddy. Okay, yeah. Make the feet fit better. Oh, Sprig, you've done a great job here. Good job. Excellent. It's, it's looking really fine. Oh, wow. Yeah, and stick a bit of spare eggplant under the flipper to make it stick out more. Mm-hmm because we all want our flippers to stick out more. Oh yeah, look at that, looking good. <laughs> Hurry up and finish before it turns brown. <laughs> Poor creature. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Uh, all right, oh my goodness, look at this, look at this. This is fantastic. Uh, make your own, go on. You'll want one. Oh yes, and like, I cut out with a metal straw I, out of some of the skin of the aubergine or, or eggplant. I cut out some buttons to put on his penguin tuxedo. Again, sticking them on with peanut butter. <laughs> well, yeah, why not? I didn't know if I was going for a natural penguin or a well-dressed evening 
tuxedo-type penguin. You can make whatever kind you want if you ever want to do this. <laughs> I doubt it, but hey. Okay, almost done. How many buttons did you get? One, two, three, four, five, six. Looking fantastic. And, oh yeah, what are you doing now? Can't you guess? I'm making a little bow tie. Oh yeah. Every lovely penguin has a bow tie. And I've loosened the stem thing there. Taken the eyes off. I'm going to put them down below. And make the other sort of penguin. The one with a hat on. And a beak made out of a piece of red pepper. Eh, and look at them go. Oh yeah, this is great. Oh, fantastic. They love to jump around. Go on, try it. And try not... <laughs> I don't know what to say. My goodness, this is silly. Ah, oh yeah. And please, click to subscribe or watch another fantastic Sprig Barton video.